In this video, we're gonna talk about how to wrap your flex items in Flexbox. And this is sort of an important concept to understand how to do wrapping because you may have a lot of dynamic content. So you can see here, I've added these two boxes right here, box five and box six. And you can see Flexbox is basically keeping everything on this first row. And the reason for this is by default, nothing gets wrapped. So if I added five more boxes here, it's gonna to try to fit everything on this first line. So I don't know, what did we set these to? Let's take a look at the style sheet. We set the width to 100 pixels. As you can see, that's no longer 100 pixels. So the property again that we wanna use is flex wrap. So let's go ahead and add that. And let's actually specify no wrap. And as I said, that's actually the default. So we should see no change here and we did not. And once again, Flexbox will try to fit everything on this first line. Now let's go ahead and specify wrap. And there you can see boxes five and six wrapped and we're put on the second line here. And now our flex items are back to the width that we set, which was 100 pixels. So this is really nice if you have a lot of dynamic content that you're adding to your web page and you just want it to wrap continually down the page. So you may add a new item here, like a new article or a new image or new text. And if you put a new box in, again, all the rest of these will be shifted downwards and they will wrap very nicely. Now you can also go ahead and specify the wrap reverse and you'll see what happens here. And now you can see everything's simply reversed. I don't use this quite as much. I usually just use the wrap. So let's just go ahead and set this back to wrap. Now you can also use some of the other properties with wrap that we've talked about in this series. One of the big ones is justify content. So let's go ahead and let's specify space around. So you can see how playing around with some of these properties that you've learned really helps you not only learn Flexbox, but you may see a particular layout that you like. Maybe you like this type of layout for your own web page development. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks as always for watching.